Hi guys, so today I'm going to be making a study routine on my um, study habits and how I study for chemistry. Um, mostly because the previous video that I uploaded, which was my study routine for AP World, I promised that I would be making a series of videos on my study routine for specific subjects. So first of all, I have a folder for science that I keep all of my work in and this is just my cover page um, and then I just have my binder. I have a folder at the end, it's pink and I just keep all of my work there and everything that I have for chemistry pretty much and that's pretty much like, it's like a floppy binder. I'm technically required to have it for chemistry so I just keep it around in my backpack and I just keep all of my work in there because it's the most convenient for me. So we have um, notes and then we have a study guide that we are given um, for each section. So for specific, specifically for chemistry, I usually study my study guide which is given to me at the end of each section right before a test. And I'll just usually go over that and just study that. Um, I also um, study my notes, which is what I'm showing you right now. And I just pretty much um, just take notes in class. We are given this packet on the section where we have these blanks and we have to fill them out as um, we're listening to the teacher lecture and while she's giving her PowerPoint pretty much. And so right before a test, I'll just try to go over my notes, try to memorize specific um, like specific concepts that she focused a lot on during the lectures. And then I'll also like usually um, just fill in um, the blanks. Um, I'll just highlight specific parts that I think are important. And then I'll also take little notes. Um, little notes on what she's saying so yeah i just i just pretty much just pay attention in class and i don't really have to um study too much because i usually um all i really need to do is just listen to the lecture very carefully and that's the best advice i can give you because that's pretty much what works for me um i just try to listen to the teacher as carefully as possible and try to understand everything she's saying pretty much and it really helps a lot if you are understanding the concepts if you don't if because it, it just makes the the class a lot easier um if you do need help i do recommend just asking your teacher for like help on specific points or like specific like sections or sub uh specific like topic you touched on in class that you don't understand because i know that if you ask your teacher it she they can usually like help you and it just helps a lot to ask questions that's what i found very useful in the past um and another thing that i do is that i get a study guide and then um i just answer all of the questions and I try to answer these questions to the best of my ability and how much I remember from class. I try to not answer, like, I try to, like, answer all the questions that I know first and then I'll do the hard ones later because I find that it helps me when I don't have to look back in the book. And if I just have everything from the top of my head, what I remember, it helps me actually remember the stuff a lot better. It kind of, like... It's kind of like a test to me, a practice test, and it helps a lot that way. So I usually study the study guide by just trying to memorize a lot of the vocab because that's a thing that my teacher is very big on. So I will just study the vocab and then I'll just try to answer all of the easy questions. And then if I do need help, I'll just go back in the book or in my notes and try to answer the hard ones. So the best tip that I can give you um, is to do good in chemistry is to like pretty much just pay attention um, take good notes um, ask questions and try to find online resources because I know that sometimes online resources they help a lot and just reading through those they help a lot like in my past video I re I recommended crash course and I know that crash course has some chemistry videos so I would recommend watching those if they help you um I personally do not use Crash Course, but it's something that you can 
try. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all the tips I have for today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!